Here's what happened, EMX 250 race one, the final round. Nick Lapucci got off to the perfect start as the championship leader by 45 points. Behind him, the 67 of Martinez and Groh, Sido, Borgmo, Weckman, Fredrickson up on the bank. Bonacorsi was right there as well inside the top 10. He obviously had problems on the opening lap. 44 was in there too, Rick Elsinger. He would play a part in all of this. Riders jostling for position on the opening lap. Nick Lapucci, though, looked like he was going to win it from the front. Borgmo was quickly in the third. And then Elsinger making moves on the 104. Jeremy Sido to move into fourth place. Lapucci then just started to tighten up as Yago Martinez started closing in and then fell from second. He re-emerged in fifth. He would eventually come home in sixth place. Rick Elsinger then caught and passed the 24 of Orgmo to move into second. He had winning on his mind all of a sudden. Then went around the outside of the championship leader who was just happy to cruise his way to the chequered flag. But Elsinger led. Orgmo then found his way past Lapucci to take over second. It wasn't long after that that Harkin Fredrickson also found his way past the red plate holder to move into third. Thought about dishing out, but then at the end of the straight said, no, 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 you have it. I'm happy sitting here in fourth. Thank you very much. All of a sudden, we had a three-way battle for the lead because Elzinger started to tighten up for whatever reason. Portmo first over around the outside, and then up the inside, Huck and Fredrickson. It was a Norway 1-2. Fredrickson wanted to be the top dog, but despite his close attentions and challenges, it was Kevin Hogmo who was victorious by eight tenths over Fredrickson and Elsinger. Lapucci crossed the line fourth and into the arms of his team as the new champion in EMX 250. Here's what happened. EMX 250, race two, the final race of the season. Nick Lapucci grabbed an all-important hole shot as the new champion. It was closely followed by Mike Guerta, Jeremy Sido, and the rest of the pack. Guerta was right there behind him. Fredrickson quickly moving into fourth as he eased by the 20 of uh, Grau, but then Fernando, uh, sorry, Martinez ran up the inside of Grau into uh, Horgmo. Horgmo felt the elbow and went down. Would eventually come back outside of the uh, top positions. But that was Guerta getting shoved over the bank there by Fredrickson as he charged into second place. Martinez was on a charge. Found his way past Elzinger briefly to move up into third place. Elzinger would have the last left, though. Bonacorsi down the inside of Maxim Groh as he moved into sixth position. Then Martinez just overcooked it. Elzinger back into third. Martinez down to fourth. Bonacorsi found his way past his teammate. And then... Around the outside of Martinez. Sido also found his way past the Spaniard as he moved into fifth. And then Oriol Oliver late on found his way past Max B to take over seventh. It was a race win for Lapucci, the 12th of the season for the Italian. Huck and Fredrickson crossed the line second overall ahead of Rick Elsinger. Bonacorsi, Sido rounded out the top five, but those two second places for Huck and Fredrickson meant that he stood on the top step of the podium for the second time this year. Lapucci second overall, third for Rick Elzinger and the championship, Lapucci, Horgmo and Elzinger. But good job today, boys. Your top three today, Fredrickson, Lapucci and Elzinger. But there's your new champion, Nicholas Lapucci. Twenty twenty one championship podium then.
in EMX 250 category. Third overall, Rick Elzinger, TBS Conversions, KTM. Second overall, the number 24 SM Action Racing Team, USA Battery Gas Gas of Kevin Horgmo. Nicholas Lapucci, though. Fantic factory team, Maddie. Gold plate, gold goggles. He'll have a gold medal around his neck. And he likes to wear his shirt undone. So uh, I'm sure he'll wear that down the beach. Old medallion, man. Third overall. Good job, Rick Elzinger. Kevin Horgmo. Second overall. Charged through to 11th in the last race after uh, those problems, but championship already won in race one. Nicholas Lapucci is the 2021 EMX 250 European champion. He wins it at home here at Mantova in Italy. Top three in 2021 then. Lapucci, Borgmo and Elzinger. Eddie Hurd alongside them. They'll quickly be joined by David Luongo, the CEO of Infront Motor Racing. But uh, just making his way into position any moment now, I would imagine. But then uh, Nicholas Lapucci. Quick photo opportunity on his own. Oh, the two champions, first of all. So Valerio Latta, 125 champion. Nicolas Lapucci, 250 European champion. And of course, uh, Valerio Latta winning that EMX 125 championship presented by FMF Racing again in race one today. So I guess in a moment we will go down and catch up with our uh, champions. So Lisa should be catching up with uh, Nicholas Lapucci, our 2021 champion. Kevin Horgmo, second overall in the championship. And Rick Elzinger, third overall in the championship. And here is Lisa Leyland with our winners. Nick Lapucci, congratulations, you're our EMX 250 European champion. You took the championship in the first race today. Four overall victories, eight podiums this season. You could afford to enjoy that last race and win it. Yeah, for sure, it was an unbelievable season, but especially today because uh, I bring the, the title home and then I wanted to end uh, with the night. So with the second model, it was just perfect. So I, I just want to say thank you to everybody that uh, being part of this amazing journey. And uh, for, for the moment, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't have so many words yeah. to say because uh, I don't believe it yet. Okay, great job. Thank you. Thanks, Nick.